Good morning, I am having my coffee. Okay, or my chai, I should say, because I don't drink coffee. I'm having my chai, and today we're gonna be doing something very fun. We're gonna get started on this bookshelf makeover. You've already, hi Leo, are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're here. They're here with us. They're here, are you excited? We're gonna get excited. Before we, before we get started doing anything fun, I gotta clean up these shelves. All the books gotta come off. Dusting needs to happen. This couch needs to find a new home over there somewhere. And then we can get started on the plan. All right, let's finish my coffee and then let's do it. This is hilarious. Hmm, which? Which black? Which black should we do? Hmm. Quite literally are all the same in this light. It's a little bit darker today. Let's wait till the sun is up a little bit more and see if it changes. It was it reminds me of tissues. Also sometimes it Troublemaker. Okay, I am done cleaning all the shelves and I am actually working on the template for the arches. I was going to start cutting the braces for between here so I have something to um, attach the arches to, but my saw is dead, so there's that. Doing just a rounded circle kind of leaves quite a bit on the side and that would mean also that I have to carry this all the way down the side and I don't want to do that so I'm going to make the arches more like a flat top rounded edge so that way this point and the edge of the 
bookshelf here it matches or even a little bit over is fine but I just don't want to um have lose like you know three or four inches on the side to where you can't see what's behind there so that's my thing I'm gonna recut out this and make it more even and then hopefully by then my saw will be charged I don't know. It's really annoying when I go to try to use my tools and all the batteries are dead. Well, they're not like super dead. They'll work for a drill, but they won't work for my saw. I'm struggling with this DeWalt saw. It just seems to like eat batteries like crazy. Like I want to go back to like a corded saw, you know what I mean? But I don't have one of those, so got to make do with what I have. Uh, while I'm cutting these, let's go over the plan. I don't think I've shown you my inspiration yet. I mean, I might have on Instagram, but um, <laughs> I really love this picture right here. This has been a picture that I've saved on Pinterest for years. I don't know what it is about these arches, but I just freaking love them. I still love them. Have they been done a million times? Probably, but I've never done them. So you know what? Whatever. I'm gonna <laughs> I just like them. So I'm gonna do that on my shelf. Um, again, my arches are gonna be more of like a flat top rounded shape um, because I don't wanna lose any space because my shelves are actually functional. Like I do actually read all these books on my shelves and or have read most of the majority of the books on my shelves. So I don't want to, you know, waste valuable real estate. Um, why I'm expanding my bookshelves is I do want to incorporate more decor on my shelves. I'm very minimalist and I love like muted tones and natural colors and that kind of thing. I'm really into like organic shapes and stuff like that lately. So that's kind of where my head is going with decor here. But I also have like zero family photos in my house like maybe two. I have two family photos in my house and I would love to put some more on my shelves. Like this is my living room. It's a communal space for my family. So even though books is a big part of my life and I would want, this is my space and I want to enjoy that. I also want to make it cohesive with the rest of my house. My house is kind of very, I would say mid-century a little bit, but also just minimalist. And again, natural, neutral tones. So that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. Very aesthetic, maybe even a little boho. I plan on having a lot of plants in my space, like just a lot of plants. Really love weird succulents. <laughs> and um, anything that just kind of makes me smile, that's what I wanna put on these shelves. So I haven't decided yet. If I want to keep the books turned around, as you saw, I love having my books turned around. Not only does it tell me all the books that I've read so far, <laughs> like all the ones that are turned around are read books, um, but I get tr triggered with my anxiety a lot and I feel like a lot of the different colors of the spines and stuff with the books can make me stressed out, like just have this underlying stress because it feels like clutter to me. So I don't know if I wanna keep that. If I can make it cohesive in a way that it doesn't seem chaotic, like I definitely want it to be more calming feeling out here, then we'll, keep, we'll turn them around so it spines out so everyone can see the beautiful books. But really, this space is mine, it's just for me. So, I don't know, I'm gonna do what I wanna do with it. <laughs> okay, there's one shape. See how it's more like elongated? See how it's more elongated? We're gonna go with that. I'm actually just going to copy this on the other side. So I'm sure you can see as well the problem here. I wanna be able to carry this straight across right here. So to do that, what I think I'm gonna do is, I definitely have a piece of tape here. 
I'm gonna put another piece of tape right here just so that way I know when I get to this point, I wanna cut it straight across. So all of this should be like the same width right here. So this whole piece should be straight. And it'll be straight like this. Braces are in. Everything's anchored. Everything's cleaned up. Next part is cutting out these arches. I've never used a jigsaw before. I mean, I've helped my dad do it a lot, but um, it should be fun. And I've never used hardboard before. We've always used like plywood or anything like that um so this will be an experience um but it should be fun <laughs> i'm gonna do a lot of measuring first because i tend to suck at that and then um i'll go from there this side So something I'm finding with the nails that I have in the nail gun is that they actually are going all the way through this and this is just coming out. Um, so I'm gonna try these nails. They have a little bit more of a head on them, but maybe this um, nail gun is just too powerful for this. I'm gonna have to make some phone calls if this doesn't work. Good morning. Um, I'm tired. I have a headache this morning, but we're gonna push through. I'm just eating breakfast. I had waffles. Um, I'm like on a waffle kick lately. Like we just got a waffle maker for the first time. <laughs> I don't know why we sat on that for so long, but it was so good. So I had my waffles, drinking my chai, watching a little YouTube right now. 
uh, Jessica's video is on. Peace, love books. Gotta love her. Um, and then once I down this, I'm gonna get back at it because I'm excited to finish this. Um, I am actually thinking of a new plan of attack today where I cut out the arch and then all the pieces that go down are gonna be cut into one solid piece. I think that'll work. Hopefully I have enough wood. I think I do. So yeah, let me finish this. Let me finish this and then we'll get right back into it. Okay, we are at this point. Um, clearly I have some holes to fill and don't worry, the top of that will be cut off. It's also gonna be covered by molding. So I'm gonna get the molding first and then see like how much I actually have to trim off. But I'm thinking it looks good. Um, I think they're relatively <laughs> at the same spot. The only one I'm really not totally happy with is this one because the top of that is below, but I have this little piece that I think I can wood glue in place if I really wanted to. I'm gonna try filling it. Same with this one. Like, I could also put it here. So that way, wait, this one has like a little, yeah. I could totally wood glue that in place and then just sand it, but I am gonna put an edging around this. So, we'll just have to see once I get it in how it's gonna look. To fill these large gaps, I'm gonna use joint compound. I think that'll work better because um, I didn't put any boards right here to nail it to. So, we'll see. Um, for me, not knowing what the hell I'm doing, I think it looks good. But for like a professional, this is terrible. <laughs> but I also think like I'm proud of it so far, but it definitely needs a lot more work still. So this is where I'm just gonna use joint compound to kind of fill in these holes because this one's pretty large. I'm not too worried about this seam right here because I will be covering this, but um, we're gonna worry about this seam right here mostly. So I just have joint compound that I've had to fix like wall repair. And I think this will work. It dries pretty well and it covers pretty well. Um, there isn't anything behind here. So that's my only worry. And again, I'm not too worried about being precise right now because this is just the first layer. Although I should probably put something down below so that way I don't mess up my floors. That would be the smart thing to do. I already have it on my nose, really? I could probably use these to fill all the little nail holes, but I have wood filler too, so. Okay, so that needs to dry. I'm gonna make a list of all the things that I need from Lowe's because I will have to make another shopping trip, but things are getting closer. Okay, end of day two, this is where we're at. It's coming along, coming along. I am dead tired. I even stopped for an hour and a half to put a, install a light fixture in my son's room because he didn't have one before. It was just from the switch. So now he's got an overhead light and he's so excited, but I need a light bulb, which means another trip to Lowe's and it's dinner time and then shower time because I've got like insulation in my hair and sawdust everywhere. I'm tired. Even holding this camera is hurting my arm. <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow where we're going to finish up the main build and then probably start filling holes. That'll be fun. Good morning, it's the next day. I am actually taking a break from this project today, but I wanted to show you one thing that I got yesterday that I'm hoping will work out. 
had a bunch of this PVC plastic molding. Um, it is flexible. So I was thinking, look at that. I could probably use this to edge the arches. My only problem with this is that even though this is flexible, it still can't get this angle quite right. So I think I'm gonna use a heat gun and see if I can make it bend a little bit more. See if it works. Um, if not, I'll just take it back. You know, the pieces that I don't use. So, but I thought it would be much nicer than what was here. And then I could just cock all the seams and it'll look almost seamless, which would be really, really cool. So that's where we're kind of ending up today. I'm not going to be facing the shelves, especially if I do this. I think it looks finished enough that I don't have to. And I don't necessarily want any more wood to cut. <laughs> Good morning. I don't know if I said this, but um, the trim I was kind of working on last night, it is gonna work. I was able to get it to bend using the heat gun. That was great. However, the nails that I'm using will not stick with that. So I need liquid nails. And of course, the liquid nails that I have in my garage is dried out because it's been in there for too long. So guess what? We need to go to Lowe's again. Let's go right now. Hey. Uh, sorry about my focus throughout this video. <laughs> I had the wrong setting, of course. Um, so I'm working on adding liquid nails to all this around here. As you can see, I'm having to tape every section so that way it holds. And then it says the liquid nails cures in 24 hours. So I'm hoping to get all of this done um, I already started filling all the holes. So we're in kind of like the home stretch portion of this build. Um, I'm happy with the progress so far. <sighs> I wanna get to painting by the weekend, it's Thursday. If I can get all of this trim work on today and then fill all the holes and sand by tomorrow, will be in good shape to paint by the weekend, at least prime. <sighs> this has definitely been a labor of love. I think I've gone to Lowe's about four or five times, but it's working out. Everything that I wanted is working out. Again, it's organic. It's not perfect, it's organic. <laughs> but I am absolutely loving it. And yeah. Let me keep at it because I have to go get my kids in another hour. Yay! <laughs> so you see, it kind of makes it fit a little bit more. All we have to do is now glue it and tape it. Should be good. Wow, that second one took like no time. Like that one went much easier than the first. I think because I didn't break it first <laughs> and I was dealing with full pieces, but it went so quickly. I also used um, to tack it in on the sides. I'm nailing it in still with the nail gun, using a little bit of a longer nail and then only nailing it into the ones with the shelves. Anything without a shelf, I can't nail it into. It just won't stay or it bubbles up the plywood. So I'm still able to nail it on the sides. I am gonna put a little bit of glue in there just to hold it, but it should be working fine now. So now I get to finish the last two and then a huge part of this is obviously filling all the holes and the gaps. Um, for the liquid nails, I just wanted to mention, I wasn't using the regular liquid nails. I actually got this one called All Surface, and it says specifically you could use it for metal and most plastic. Again, it's not dry yet, so I can't tell you yet if this is the way to go on these, but maybe I will in the next episode. Um, but I'm hoping this would be a better choice than the regular liquid nails, because I am gluing PVC plastic molding into wood. So 
This gun is just old and it's killing up my hand. So I don't know how long this is gonna take me today, but I'm really hoping I can finish today and then I can finish filling all the holes and the gaps with wood putty and caulking. So um, it's coming along. I will not make you sit through watching me fill a thousand holes but maybe the next episode we'll start painting. So that's it for this vlog. Stay tuned because this is only maybe like halfway done. The other half is the most exciting half. So I'll get to work on that and I uh, will see you in the next one. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.